welcome back to Sketchy Land. I don't know about you, but if I see another robot pirate, I'm probably going to land in sketchy jail for destruction of private property. Anyways, we've entitled the sketch, Oh Pyruvate, The Places You'll Go, because pyruvate can enter many different pathways. Let's discuss the fates of pyruvate. Just to recap, this kid wearing a pirate hat is pyruvate. He just exited pyruvates of the Caribbean and has absolutely no clue where to go next. Pyruvate is a key intermediate during glycolysis, gluconeogenesis, and aerobic metabolism. It's also needed to synthesize lactate and alanine. In bacteria and yeast, pyruvate produces ethanol by fermentation. But how'd he even get here in the first place? As you may remember, during glycolysis, one glucose produces two pyruvate, two NADH, and two ATP. Where to next? Well, let's take a gander at the park map. Shall he go to Pyruvate's Dead Cove? Seems like the logical choice, him being a pirate fan and whatnot. Under most circumstances, Pyruvate will undergo aerobic metabolism when oxygen is available. After entering the mitochondrial matrix, Pyruvate dehydrogenase complex, or PDC, irreversibly turns Pyruvate, NAD+, and CoA, to acetyl-CoA, NADH, and carbon dioxide. We use Pyruvate's Dead Cove to represent PDC. This ride sits atop a mitochondrial lake because this step takes place in the mitochondrial matrix. The acetyl-cola billboard will help you remember that one of the end products is acetyl-CoA. Pyruvate's Dead Cove is located between pyruvates of the Caribbean and the TCA ride because PDC is the transition step between glycolysis and the TCA cycle. Speaking of the TCA cycle, that's where acetyl-CoA enters. Please watch our PDC and TCA cycle sketches to learn more. We've shown a second pathway leading down to the left. Will our pyruvate kid ride the Cori Cyclone? Word on the street is that it literally takes your breath away. Ha! Sayonara oxygen! This pathway will represent the last step of anaerobic glycolysis and the Cori Cycle. When oxygen is unavailable, lactate dehydrogenase turns pyruvate and NADH to lactate and NAD+. This step is important for regenerating NAD+, so glycolysis can continue, especially in cells that rely on anaerobic metabolism. Looks like some punk kid threw spoiled milk at the map, and now this poor worker is using a towel to dehydrate it. The towel covered in spoiled milk is lactate dehydrogenase. And of course, the gas mask means that making lactate is an anaerobic process. This step is reversible and takes place in the cytosol. And what better way to illustrate this with an advertisement for Cytosol, the best wiper fluid west of the Mississippi. Let's take a closer look at the two cartons of spoiled milk and the two ATP-powered animatronic seagulls. Illustrated here are the products of anaerobic glycolysis, lactate and ATP. You'll see that one of the seagulls has gotten a hold of some glucose candy because we started with one glucose and made two lactate and two ATP. Anaerobic glycolysis provides the only source of energy for cells that don't have mitochondria, like erythrocytes. It also occurs in leukocytes, testis, renal medullary cells, and type 2 fast-twitch skeletal muscle fibers during high-intensity, sustained, predominantly isometric exercise. Unfortunately, skeletal muscle fibers can't directly metabolize lactate nor convert it into glucose via gluconeogenesis because they don't have the enzyme glucose 6-phosphatase which is needed to turn glucose 6-phosphate into glucose. The Cori cycle solves this problem by transporting lactate from actively contracting skeletal muscle to the liver where it undergoes gluconeogenesis to make glucose and gets transported back to skeletal muscle to be used for energy. It also makes for a hell of a roller coaster ride. Pyruvate can also be directly converted to alanine. We drew aloe plants to show alanine. Alanine transaminase, or ALT, catalyzes this reversible reaction with the help of vitamin B6. Let these tasty malt balls, specifically the last three letters of malt, remind you of ALT. ALT is present in skeletal muscle and the liver. It participates in the Cahill cycle, or as we like to call it, the anthill. The Cahill cycle shuttles nitrogen and carbon groups, derived from the breakdown of amino acids in skeletal muscle tissues, as alanine to the liver where it undergoes gluconeogenesis to produce glucose and gets transported back to skeletal muscle to be used for energy. Meanwhile, the liver converts toxic ammonia to non-toxic urea. 
Don't forget to watch our Corey Cahill and Urea Cycle sketches to learn more. The next path leading to the right goes to Davy Jones's Candy Locker. It's also known as the promised land for anyone with a sweet tooth. This pathway represents gluconeogenesis. When glucose is not immediately available, like after a prolonged fast, pyruvate undergoes gluconeogenesis to produce glucose. Pyruvate enters the mitochondrial matrix, and pyruvate carboxylase uses ATP to add a CO2 group to pyruvate, producing oxaloacetate. We won't go over the other steps here, but you can watch our Davy Jones's Candy Locker sketch if you haven't already to learn more. So far, we've talked about all the places where our beloved pyruvate kid can go. But hold on, we made a mistake. There's one place he can't go. And not because he's pyruvate, but because he's not 21, a bacteria, nor a yeast. Welcome to the fermentation station, where oxygen-deprived bacteria and yeast will turn pyruvate into cold, refreshing ethanol. Mmm, ethanol. It comes as no surprise that this is a popular spot among the adult chaperones. You'll be welcomed with fluorescent bacteria lights, yeast packets, and good times. We'll conclude this sketch by including a gas mask because fermentation is an anaerobic process. Okay, let's wrap up this sketch. Pyruvate is a key intermediate during glycolysis, gluconeogenesis, and aerobic metabolism. It's also needed to make lactate and alanine. During glycolysis, one glucose produces two pyruvate, two NADH, and two ATP. Pyruvate enters the mitochondrial matrix when oxygen is available. PDC converts pyruvate, NAD+, and CoA into acetyl-CoA, NADH, and CO2. Acetyl-CoA subsequently enters the TCA cycle. When oxygen is unavailable, lactate dehydrogenase turns pyruvate and NADH into lactate and NAD+. This step is reversible, takes place in the cytosol, and is part of the Cori cycle. Erythrocytes, leukocytes, testis, renal medullary cells, and type 2 skeletal muscle fibers depend on anaerobic glycolysis. During anaerobic glycolysis, one glucose produces two lactate and two ATP. Pyruvate can be directly converted to alanine via alanine transaminase. This step is reversible and is a part of the Cahill cycle. When glucose is not immediately available, like after a prolonged fast, pyruvate undergoes gluconeogenesis to make glucose. Finally, Oxygen-deprived bacteria and yeast convert pyruvate into ethanol in a process called fermentation.